Hello and happy Wednesday, or happy day whenever it is you listen in. My name is Angelia Joy, and this is the Joyful Angel Oracle. The Ascended Masters card you see here was the shadow card as I pulled the deck out today. Doreen Virtue's Angel Therapy Oracle cards. And I've been waking up since Monday. I woke up at 3.33. Yesterday I woke up at 3.39. And this morning I woke up at 3.03. So um, I did have an image of an Ascended Master uh, when I awoke. So that this is, again, the shadow card um, in the deck for today's reading is is humorous to me. It just confirms you know, the message I received. So, As I shuffle the deck for today's reading, I am going to read the invocation. If you would like to join in and focus our intentions and our energy for the reading, I ask the divine energy of love that permeates the universe and bonds all in one to guide each of us seeking into the highest truth we are ready to understand. And so it is. Okay, deck is shuffled. Top card. You are profoundly clairvoyant. Trust what you see in your mind's eye as well as with your physical sight for your spiritual vision helps you with healing, teaching, and guidance. There's a lot of blue and green shades in here, along with the gold. Um, So I think it's really uh, the message that I've been getting today, and mostly all week, is, is that as our gifts are presenting themselves to us, our abilities um, to see, to hear, to know, um, we are we are given these, and these are being brought forward for us to to share this wisdom that we're gaining. Um, it's not wisdom we're gaining so much as uh, allowing the information that's coming through, the energies that are coming through, to uh, to be poured through the vessels that we are and and used to manifest divine love and with the intention and purposes that uh, the universe has in store as it comes to us to begin with. So let's see, um, profoundly clairvoyant, let's see if there's another message. Just share what you're hearing, what you're seeing, what you're feeling. Share it. It's going to make a difference. (laughs) Past life issue. Um, I've been talking a lot to myself mostly, about past lives, um, trying to discern for myself whether the lessons I've, I've been remembering, you know, everything that has gone, uh, not the details of what has gone on in past lives, but the, uh, the wisdom gained, uh, is, is, has been remembered through this lifetime. So my, question to myself was do I need the details at this point what it is that I'm I think I'm asking about is is not necessary for me to go search in, in search of more right now um, I, I keep being led to feel that the things everything I have is in everything I need is in storage basically um, my mental psychic storage drawers. And um, as the situations arise that this information is needed, I'll be able to access it um, and present it to to the situation uh, in a manner that's most helpful, both not only for me, but for the greatest good. Um, And that is always my end my end goal is to serve the, the, the greater good. I don't have to win, and I'm not going to guarantee that you will always win. Um, but I believe that while we don't technically win, um, we grow, and in doing so, we win. So um, 
I guess I could read the card. This, this situation has a basis in one of your previous lifetimes. Ask your angels to help you remember, release, learn, and heal from your past experiences. So, yeah, that's a, a lot of what I've been doing um, the past few years. Um, but more so um, recently. Uh, but the awareness is that I've come to. Uh, in fact, this, this past week I had a conversation with my husband who is the one who I talk with and open the channel most wide with. It's probably him. Um, but we had, in fact, had part of this conversation. Um, whereas we, we are able to do so many things so well. And it's not a boastful manner that we state this in. Um, we are very good at very many things. And it makes it very <laughs> difficult to to know where to put your focus at. If you're good at, at one thing, it's easier. You know, you have one passion, one focus. It's, it's uh, like my children, my mother. Um, I, I totally understand and, and, and appreciate that, that focus. Um, but my husband and I are, are not in that space. Um, we excel at many things and to try to find the one that offers the, the greatest good is, is a struggle. But um, it's a challenge. So right now we have come to the determination that we are in the process of calling all of our lessons, our remembering, calling the remembering to the surface, to our conscious mind, to this vessel, to this uh, lifetime, to this time frame in our life. Um, and all we can say really is if we're gathering all this to us at this point, whatever it is we're gearing up for beyond this, it's got to be just an incredible and amazing experience. And we look forward to it. Um, and that's how he gets through his days out in the heat. He's a plumber. He works in Texas, so it's close to, you know, over a hundred for over a week, and he's hanging in there, he's doing good, he's doing what's before him at this time, and shield yourself, <laughs> protect yourself from harsh or fear-based energies by envisioning a cocoon of healing light surrounding you, protect yourself, it's not saying you need anyone's protection, it's not saying there's, um, anything coming at you necessarily from harsh or fear-based. Um, fear is often the fear-based and the attacks that, that I've received um, have really made me come to, a, to realize that these people just don't hear what I am saying. Their journey, their their path, does not um, allow for the vibration of my message to present itself to them. And I have to stop being angry about that. <laughs> I have to allow that they are on their journey, and they do not have to understand mine at all. I have to understand mine. And I have to be the one to stand up and say... It's okay that you don't understand me. I love you anyway. And I wish all your dreams come true. So I'm going to leave you with that today. Uh, shield yourself. Trust yourself. Know yourself. Have a great night.